And Rob, let's just take a little peek into August while we're at it. River Day at Van Cortlandt Manor on the 1st of August. Tell us about that. This is an event where we really focus on the ecology and the environment of the, of the Hudson River. Uh, we talk about the history of the river, also contemporary issues of conservation, environmental concerns. Um, there's also kayaking opportunities, fishing opportunities. And this year we uh, have a special contest that we're doing, which we're pretty excited about. The event is sponsored by Fuji Film, and we're going to have a photo contest so that people who post photos to Flickr, we're going to pick out the uh, the best photos, and you're going to be able to win a, uh, at one of three cameras. So we're really excited about that giveaway. Details about that you can find on our website, um, again, which is HudsonValley.org. So we're giving away three cameras at that event, which is uh, Sunday, August 1st at Van Cortlandt Manor. We have Rob Schweitzer with us this morning, the Director of Public Relations at Historic Hudson Valley. They're based in Terrytown down in uh, Westchester County. You've got some wonderful events, some great repeat events every year as well. How many people do you think come through the doors at these, uh, these uh, historic sites, and which one do you think is the most popular? Well, certainly I think in terms of our special events, our most popular event is the Great Jack-O-Lantern Blaze in October, which takes place at Van Cortlandt Manor and really has just become a... They're just a huge phenomena. Um, beyond that, I would say that Kaikit, which is the Rockefeller estate, um, is probably the most prominent cultural attraction down here in Westchester County and certainly our uh, best-known site. So I would probably cite that one as, as being the most popular. So what goes on at Kaikit? What will our listeners see when they go there? I know you, we don't really talk about too many special events going on there. Yeah, Kaikit is really just your standard tours that go through. This is a great, grand site. It was the um, home to four generations of Rockefellers. It was built by John D. Rockefeller Sr. and Jr. in the um, early 1900s. And we talk about the, um, the history of the family. We talk about uh, the history of philanthropy because John D. Rockefeller Sr. was really the, um, really the, the creator of, of the modern science of philanthropy. And his son, John D. Rockefeller Jr., is actually the founder of our organization. He founded it in 1951. At the time, it was called Sleepy Hollow Restorations. Um, and we talk about um, really just everything related to the family, but also it is just such a grand, great site, incredible gardens, an incredible house, stunning views of the Hudson River and the Palisades beyond. So it's just a really special way to spend a day. And where is that uh, exactly located again? That is in the, uh, the hamlet of Pecanical Hills, just north of Sleepy Hollow. And the visitor center for Kaikit, <clears throat> which is where all tours originate from, is at Phillipsburg Manor, mm -hmm. another one of our historic properties right there in Sleepy Hollow. And we do want to talk a little bit about Montgomery Place after a uh, long lull of nothing really going on there and being closed. Um, the site's open again for tours, right? Absolutely, and uh, we are excited this year. Um, we have been able to open the grounds of the property for free daily, every day, no charge for that. And we're also excited that we're able to be doing house tours Thursday through Sunday from 11 to 4, uh, now through the end of October. That's really exciting. Um, we've had a lot of great turnout. We've had a lot of support from the community. A lot of people have been um, coming back to Montgomery Place. We're very excited about that. Um, just uh, earlier this June, we had a a, a little uh, porch party fundraiser there. We had about 200 people, uh, many from the surrounding community right there that came out to support the site. And that's very gratifying because the success of Montgomery Place, it really depends on um, community support. And, and we're seeing that this year, and that's very exciting. Do you think you might be uh, hosting those Christmas events there again like you have in the past? We certainly would like to. Um, we This year, our our event schedule includes a antique car show in September, which we're really excited about. We've done car shows there in the past, and they have been very well received. Um, and Christmas stuff is definitely, um, definitely on the uh, on on the desk. And um, I will let you know just as soon as uh, as soon as we we have something on that. Well, we certainly hope you're able to do that. It's a beautiful home, and just tell us a little bit about the home and and what folks will see when they tour through Montgomery Place. Sure. It is a very expansive site, uh, 380 acres. It uh, comprises a, a big portion of the village of um, Annandale and Hudson right there in Red Hook. It's about uh, 380 acres, as I said. It um, has 17 buildings on it. It has um, Sawkill Waterfall, 
incredible views of the Hudson, great walking trails, for, formal gardens, a rough garden, uh, wooded paths. It's a really incredible example of, a, of an intact Hudson Valley estate. It was in the basically in the same family for about 200 years. It dates back to 1802, uh, the Livingston family, and then later the, uh, the Delafield family were the occupants until Historic Hudson, uh, Historic Hudson Valley acquired the property in 1986. So the family actually lived there that recently? Yes. Wow. Uh, descendants of the family were there uh, really up until the early 80s. Hmm. And it's a beautiful, beautiful building. If you do get a chance to uh, head over there this summer, please do. Um, open for tours Thursday through Sunday, just a very short drive from us here in Kingston. Yep. And even a shorter drive from our friends over in northern Dutchess County. You're right Absolutely. There, and you can enjoy that. Rob, we also want to mention, too, to our listeners that it really pays to be a member of uh, Historic Hudson Valley, doesn't it? Absolutely. It is the best. If you visit us more than once a year, it is the best way to visit us because it includes free admission to all of our sites, with the exception of Kikit, but you get a significantly reduced admission to Kikit. It includes free admission to all of our special events, and that includes the Great Jack-O-Lantern Blaze and our other popular Halloween events, 15 events a year, all free admission when you become a member. There's other benefits also, including discounts at our museum shops. And, you know, for a family of two adults, three children, it's $140 a year. You really can't beat that. Uh, it's tax deductible, and you are supporting our education and preservation mission, and you also have a year's worth of great family entertainment. It must cost a lot of money to keep these sites going, too, doesn't it, Rob? Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, if you think about the cost of maintaining, you know, just your own home, and then imagine that you're maintaining six really grand estates that, you know, you can't just... Um, go to Home Depot and, and, and put vinyl siding on it or something like that. You have to think about keeping things in period. You have to think about, um, you know, restoration. It really is uh, it's a, it's a huge undertaking, but that's why this organization exists, and um, it's why John D. Rockefeller founded it in 1951. And just to heat these beautiful buildings has got to be very costly. Absolutely. I mean, they're huge, huge buildings. I would not want to... Uh, be responsible for that bill. No, I'd love to live in one of these, but to keep up the expenses, kind of tough. That that is that's the problem right there. So again, uh, give us your website. Our listeners can go there and they can learn about membership and all the great events. Everything that we're talking about, HudsonValley.org.